Good morning everyone, it's Michael here from the Trading Institutional Order Flow thread on Forex Factory. Um, I just thought I'd do a quick video now that the FOMC was out of the way. Let's see what opportunities have been produced for us. Um, so let's let's take a look. Let's take a look. Welcome to the new members, Banani, um, to Nikolai. Thank you all for coming um, and posting and being part of the, the thread. Um, the webinar is for the 25th of March, Saturday the 25th of March at 8.30 p.m. The reason I suggested downloading the join.me app was because historically people have found it useful to have the app. That's the only reason I don't, I don't um, get paid. I don't know them. I only use it as a room for the roundtable members and, and that's where we meet every, every um, week to, to go through the market. So that's why I said maybe an idea to download it. It might be easier just for people to, to log in onto it. So to, to get in on the webinar, I need your email addresses. So please send your email addresses to me and I can add you to the webinar list for the month. Okay, let's go to the charts. Um, wanted to bring you to look at this quickly. This is uh, uh, the pound New Zealand and we're working our way off of this supply zone up in here. Um, you can see that we've come down into into demand and you can see that the momentum um, for this market looks to be starting to wane with the removal of these lows so we're we're looking possibly for shorting opportunities if you missed getting short up in here this area is has been tested a couple of times already this is about the third test into it and obviously as we expect it's gone deeper in we're coming out when you look on the um, four hour which I was looking at you we have hit a new um, supply zone up in here so this area is where prices are working off of if you drew it like this it's still possible for for the trade to be triggered um, and and you can look to get on board that's what I would do anyway I'm not suggesting that you do it <laughs> but it's what I would do um, so that's for the pound New Zealand. Let's go back to the daily chart. Let's take a look at what the impact has been on the dollar. So you can see on the dollar on the daily chart, I've marked off the levels that are of interest right now. You've had a creation of a new supply zone with the move yesterday, and we still have this downside demand zone yet to be tested. On the Australian US dollar, we've hit into this supply zone. It's been tested once um, and it's come back into it you have enough of um, room to go to the demand zones down in here and obviously you have these ones down in here but they're still so far away but for now this is the play on the Australian it's more higher probability to be selling than to be shorting uh, to be buying rather and on the pound this is one that you might want to keep on on the radar for today because it's sitting inside a supply zone um, it's not, you know, ideal because I think the momentum, if unless this candle closes way down here, you'll see from the momentum, the momentum is possibly going to be going to be ending today. And you might then have either a sideways market or a reversal. So you would obviously for day trade, it's still OK. You will, you'd have to be quick on your profit somewhere down in here. I'm looking at it on a, let's say, a 15 minute chart now. Okay, so that's the 15-minute demand zone that has to be um, worked through. As you can see, prices are hitting that area several times. It still hasn't broken, so it's still very difficult to short right now. Maybe you want to keep an eye on it and see if it gives you any shorting opportunities kind of thing. Okay, so let's go back to our dailies. Let's take a look at oil, see what the impact on oil is. So oil, we have this level up in here where the origin of the big move down came from. We still have our demand zone down in here that's yet to be tested. I've put in this area um, because prices are coming up into it and it was a bit of a fall. It's not one to use for set and forget, definitely not. Um, but you might want to think about, again, like the pound, keeping an eye on it for short term trades, looking at smaller time frames in there. All right. Let's take a look at gold. Gold has come into demand, is working its way off of that on its way to supply. So it's going to be a tricky one now. If we look at it on a smaller time frame again, let's look, see, 
do we have any? The only quality that I'm seeing for gold is right there. So I'm thinking around there for gold, um, for a buy. It looks like a decent enough profit margin. And obviously you have this down there. This is also another one. Um, it's not great though, but these, these two first. Okay, so that's a quick look at gold. We're on our way. Let's take a look at the um, our cross pairs. Okay, so we can see. Oh, I, I think I had this level in already. So we can see prices have come very close. Did they hit? Did they hit that supply? Looks like they just missed it. Just, but I'm not, I'm not even sure that's a pip. <laughs> um, just missed it there, and we're now sitting in some poor structure area that we'll see what happens. So again, this one you might want to keep um, keep on your radar, seeing that the dollar has room to fall your, your inner demand zone on the euro. You might want to look for short-term trades in there. I don't know if that, that's something for you to consider. And the US dollar Canadian, again, we have prices sitting, or did they just go through that? Well, they're in this area, um, the bottom end of it. So again looking for short-term opportunities that's the space let's take a quick look before we finish all right so we we can see how this is happening so if you wanted to get long on this pair maybe looking down in here that's what it, that's where i would look anyway um, not a suggestion again for anyone to do anything but that's where i would look for for areas to to maybe go long in the short term in the short term okay guys again thank you all to everyone thank you for being civil with each other and for contributing on the on the thread it's it's growing fairly fairly quickly and thank you to all the new members again have a great weekend guys take it easy i'll speak to you all soon bye bye for now